Sunday and today we are shaking the wickedness out we are awakening the dawn we are calling for a new day and we're going to press home the revelation and the states and the nations that we've spoken into so far and so Sunday night when Chuck was here he set the pattern as apostles do. He set the pattern for the way that we were going to move. And we learned about uttering the voice that Omer means to utter and that he's designing a new sound for our mouth so that we can command the new day that we are approaching after 50 days so that we can say what God is going to say in that we are allowing him to cleanse our mouth and do what he needs to do. We spoke into um, Arizona, I Israel, Alabama. We spoke into Alabama and we said that they were gonna march for the kingdom. We said many things about Alabama. And so Alabama, we say, listen up. 
you have a great portion coming towards you. And we are shaking the wickedness out of the words that had been spoken over Alabama this morning. And we are taking the revelation that was released and we are pegging it down and saying we're going to, uh, we're starting a new day in Alabama, in uh, Alaska, in uh, all the, the states and nations that we spoke into. And on Sunday night, we spoke into Israel. We prayed for Israel. Remember, we called Israel to her fullness. We uh, stressed our alignment with Israel. We talked about how the Lord had brought her into the wilderness, and now we're coming up leaning on our beloved. And we saw that it's... Um, that things had been broken. There was a new widow here. And we saw how the Lord was going to take her to a new place with a new portion. And so, Lord, we're thanking you for everything that we did on Sunday night. And we thank you for all that you brought forward. And we peg that down now in the name of Jesus. And we shake the wickedness out of the dawn, dawn as it pertains to all those words and those things that you brought forward. We're thanking you for the revelation that you're releasing. We're thanking you, Lord, for all of those that are participating, wherever they are. And then on Monday night... We prayed for, uh, at 9 p.m., we prayed for Alaska, and we prayed for Turkey, and we prayed for Israel. And during that time, we asked the Lord to, um, and it triggered a prayer journey in Alaska. When we prayed for them, they went to the gates and made decrees in the northern gates. They went to the north they went to the coastline. They spoke into uh, Russia and agreed that they were going to bring the prisoners, the, uh, the Jews out of Russia, that they're ready to receive the Jews when they come out of Russia. They, uh, they, they cooperate with, operate in the fullness of, and love the word that the Lord speaks over them, the prophetic word. And then we prayed for Turkey, and we saw many things about Turkey, and we called for the Lord to move in a new way in eastern Turkey, where the um, uh, where they, the Kurds are, and where so many issues are residing. And we called for a reactivation of everything that was happening in uh, western Turkey, where the the seed of the church was formed. We called those words into place in Turkey. Now, Lord, we thank you that you are bringing us into a new day, and we are armed with new words, with forward momentum, and we're not going to lose our momentum or forget what you said to us and how you've led us this week. So, Lord, we thank you for that. And in a minute, Marty is going to come, and she's going to talk about what we did in her watch and then Janice is going to come and talk about what we did in her watch So, and then we're going to move forward today Amen so let's have a sound let it rise to the heavens let it rise to
it was, but it was the third day. And uh, it was uh, whenever, but it was the midnight watch, and that's the warfare watch. And I was so in the spirit, by the time I left here, I went home and couldn't get to sleep all night long. So uh, what I remember about that is that we had a beat that was throwing the enemy off his cadence. It was just meeting him, and we don't want to lose that that. We want to realize that that goes on. Those sound vibrations don't ever stop. Uh, We prayed for Arizona, Arkansas, and Spain. We spoke over Spain. The religious uh, structures would begin to fall. That Islam would not take over that nation. Um, Ghana was mentioned. We prayed for Ghana. Uh, And uh, we sent the spirit of discovery out of the land of Spain. But uh, my, my remembrance of that was just that we warred with a beat that, uh, that set us forward. And so, Lord, we're coming in agreement with everything that happened in that warfare watch uh, the other night at midnight. We thank you that we had the strength to come out at midnight and begin to war on your behalf. And we just send that, Lord. And we say, I see you taking, taking the door. in the name of Jesus. And then Wednesday night, Rabbi brought the portion of the tabernacle, and we were overwhelmed with such a presence of God as he came and released that into us. So, Lord, we say that we are on a march, that the body of Christ is on a move, and that we're moving forward. And the presence of the Lord was here as we came together at 3 yesterday morning in the 3 o'clock watch, the fourth watch of the night, the final watch of the night before our breaking of the day. And we lifted up and called and spoke into California as the state. And we uncovered that golden root. We began to speak into that golden root that is there in that golden state. The glory and the presence of the Lord that is in California to be uncovered and for California to rise up and share about how 515 movement was birthed out of that place and that the sound of triumph had been prophesied over that state. Then we moved into Romania as the nation and there was a similar word over Romania from Chuck that the sound of triumph was going to begin to arise out of that nation and that sound of triumph was going to release an apostolic network and out of that apostolic network we had a word that came forth and 
said the orphan spirit over those children in Romania was going to be loosed and they were going to come into the family. They were going to recognize the fathers of the nation. So Lord, we bless today again California and Romania and we say, Lord, let your kingdom come in Jesus' name. Cindy Jacobs had said that um, one of the words that came, and this was in 2013, the Lord says the minds that have been shut down are going to reopen. So, Lord, we thank you for a fresh mining that is going to happen in Colorado, that you have jewels and uh, materials that you have need of in this season. And, Lord, we say that along with that, you will begin that they will feel to tithe on what they what you they have been freely given in every mind. And I thank you, Lord, that you've shifted and are shifting ownership in that dry drought period to get them into the hands of those who know you and follow in your way and do what they're called to do. Uh, uh, Lord, we say 
that Colorado is coming to a new place in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. Chuck has had many words over Colorado, and he uh, decreed that a new uh, revival fire was going to start, was going to come forth in Colorado. So we call that forth. We press that word out in the spirit. We shake the blood of Jesus over Colorado today and say it is still active and it will perform that which you've called them to and we call them to the fullness of what they desire from you in the name of Jesus so let it rise to the heavens let it rise Let it rise to the heavens. In Colorado, I hear this is the hour that your voice is going to come to an all new level. And it's been stalled sometimes, but he said, I'm going to begin to open it. He said, Judah, open your mouth and begin to sing the new songs of the Lord. And he says that garner of glory within you. He says, I'm putting mining tools in you, not only for the natural, but for the spiritual. And this is the time in the mining of the glory that is within you. So it will spill out into the land and it will be that which the people will begin to lay hold of. He says, I'm going to release you to an all new level. He says, the Ruach is blowing over you like the winds of this hour. The window is open of heaven. It is your hay hour to begin to loose your mind, your mouth and begin to loose it like a mind that has been within you. And he said, many will lay hold of it and it will be their time and season to begin to walk into what they've been held back for. So he says this hour, know that I'm coming like a fire, a gasoline on that anointing. And I'm going to begin to release you from the stall that you have been in. So Judah, lift your voice and begin to sing the new song of the Lord. And begin to release your voice in an all new way. He says, heaven has been waiting for you. And he says, no, then I am behind you, pushing you with my wind. He says that land will live it will not die and it will rise up and blossom and bloom like never before so he says Colorado my eye is on you in this eye in season of time and we speak to the high places in Colorado that have been taken over by the enemy and we see the blood of Jesus being recognized in a way that it has never been recognized and appropriated before and we speak to you high places in Colorado and we say this is the year of the whirlwind and the wind is going to begin to blow over you blow around you we speak to the witchcraft in that state we speak to the occult in that state and we call you out we call you into the kingdom we call you into the love of Jesus Christ and we say Jesus is a good Lord he is a wonderful wonderful Lord and we say we send that out to you today in the mighty name of Jesus and we decree today that that thoroughfare that's called the Albert Pike Highway we say that in this season there is a new identity coming into it and that that ley line is severed from its beginning in Hot Springs Arkansas and it's severed at its end in Colorado Springs in Pikes Peak and we decree into those two springs today that there is new revelation there is fresh pure revelation bubbling forth we say that no longer are those springs overtaken as Marty said by dark revelation but there is a clarity coming forth in those springs today and we say there is a new identity coming to that uh, Albert Pike what has been known as the Albert Pike Highway in Jesus name As soon as Ann started talking about the mines, I began to see a mine, and it was silent, and it was doing its mine thing. And then when Susan got up and said, I said, this is it. This is it. No, Colorado is no longer silent in her actions. She will go forth and hear what God says and, and be obedient to it. 
Amen. We say that we bring all the fragmented parts together because it's been so fragmented because of the activity and the actions and the activation of the evil eye. And so, Lord, we say that that, as uh, we have prophesied this morning, is being separated in the name of Jesus. And the apostolic fivefold, the apostolic and the prophetic foundation will begin to manifest in new ways. And there'll be new uh, relationships that are through this 50 days. That's one of the ways the Lord is impacting our relationships is by removing that. And so, Lord, now I want to speak into Scotland because Scotland has some of the same issues. Scotland, Ireland, and uh, Wales, and England have uh, a huge uh, evil eye structure that has an evil eye placed on the nation now taking it over. And, and so, Lord, we're saying, blind that evil eye and turn the outcome. There are some magnificent words over Scotland, Ireland, Wales, and England, the Hebrides, all of uh, the British Isles. And we call those into alignment now in the name of Jesus. The Lord, the, the Scots carry the Jewish root in the, in the uh, British Isles. And we say, Lord, that they'll begin to move in the fullness of that. And they'll bring their portion. And they'll combine it with the other Celts. Because in this nation, when the Celts stood up and went first, we gained our freedom, our independence. And we say, Lord, we're going to stand up with the Celts and help them gain their independence from this in the name of Jesus. And we speak into Ireland and we say, Ireland, no longer will you consume yourself by fighting brother against brother uh, and, and relative against relative. But Father, I say that there is a remnant in Ireland that is rising up that will stand their place as only the Celts can do. And that warrior spirit will war against the kingdom of darkness, not against each other. We say that there, that there is a cohesiveness coming to Ireland and no longer will they be split down the middle. But, Father, that they will be joined together, one body, one spirit, under the Lord Jesus Christ. And as they come together and they unite, Lord, that they will, they will swing that sword of the spirit. And they will take out the enemy that has tried to overcome the, the Emerald Isle. And we say that they shall see, they shall hear, and they shall proclaim the kingdom of God as is here in Ireland is being established in a fresh way. And we speak to Wales and to the living stones that are in Wales. And we say there are stones that are there that witness the songs and the power of God. And we say the fragrance of those stones now overtakes in the holy place. We release the living stones in Wales, uncap the wells and move forward. Stand in that spirit in Jesus' name. And we speak over Wales and we, we bless Wales and the Isles for what came out of them years ago. For that spark of revival, for that fire of God. We bless you, Isles. And we say, rev it up again, Lord. Begin to fall on them afresh and anew. And turn things around as the wind blows over Wales and Ireland and Scotland and England. We just say that there's a turning in the spirit. There's a turning. It's an ancient door. I see an ancient door being opened over the aisles. And the angels are being released. And they're beginning to touch down with the fire from the heavenly places. And the Lord says, this time, this time, it will not stop. It will continue. The praises will rise. And people will be transformed. We bless you this morning, aisles out of Zion. And 
and we speak to the islands of the islands. We speak to the Shetland Islands. We speak to the Hebrides. We speak to the Orkney Islands. We speak to Iona and Lindisfarne. We speak to the islands off the islands. And the Lord says that you are stepping stones of my glory. God says there is not one patch of ground on those islands that is too small for me to come visit, for me to make a habitation. The Lord says I want to send my glory to the islands of the islands. Do not think yourself too small, but press and cry out and cry out for my presence to inhabit those places. Now, Lord, we call them to come together, apostle and prophet. And the prophetic voice was carried by Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, and the, uh, the presence and the manifestations of the angelic. And they learned how to work with the angelic. And Lord, we call for it. They were the last place on earth where the paradigm of the early church continued in strength and in glory. And Lord, we say that they are truly going to become the united kingdom, the, the kingdom that has been united and called by God for this season. And we say that the apostolic will no longer kill the prophets, but they will stand together until a right foundation can be formed in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we call on them to step into their true destiny to represent your kingdom and to see it spread over all the earth. Lord, they have a root of understanding kingdom, understanding kingdom enlargement and expansion. Now, Lord, we call that to come under your direction. We call it to come under the uh, direction and empowering of Holy Spirit that it will not be an oppressive uh, kind of colonization kingdom, but it will be truly taking the gospel. Lord, the first missionaries in the modern day came out of England. God, they had the heart. They understood. They planted missions that are still affecting nations today. God, we call for that root to be cleansed of the political, religious uh, spirits that infiltrated it and for your church to begin to stand for apostles, prophets, teachers, evangelists, and pastors to come together and make a representative of your kingdom which will invade and affect the world. the presence of your angelic forces, Lord. We say, Lord, those portals that were open there where the angels moved back and forth from one dimension to another seen by the by the uh, human eye, we ask you, Lord, to once again open it up. Not only remind them, but show us in the world, Lord, how to move with your angelic forces as we come into the latter days. That, Lord, in that army there is no defeat. In that army there is only victory and moving kingdom forth. So Lord, we thank you. Open our eyes. Open our eyes. Open their eyes once again as Linda said to their true identity of moving kingdom forward. Um, I just saw God drawing near to the islands and he came down and he blew his breath and it went into each island. So, Lord, we just declare they open up and receive a new breath and a new strength, a new life from you today. Good work. I hear the Lord saying with that breath that the intercessors in all of these areas that he is flowing his breath in you and there's a deep sound that's going to be coming up and don't hesitate on letting that sound out because in that sound there is a well 
that is going to cut through the atmosphere that's not been cut through before. So he says, let your well out. As Janice began to speak about the angelic, I saw them loose from the throne of God and they were carrying swords. And I hear the Lord say that great isles, this is the time that I'm knighting you afresh and anew for my glory. And he says, I'm going to reach it out and you're going to war in an all new way. So he says, as you're being knighted for my kingdom purposes, he says, lay hold of the new weapons that I'm putting in your hand. And he says, Lathriathon has moved through your waters and he says and it has connected with that evil eye but he says know that with those swords in your hands this is the hour that you will remove the way that that eye has operated and he says and you will go into the waters and see them where they have been in great turmoil begin to come into great peace so he says know that you have been in the uh, plans of me and I am reuniting you for my kingdom purposes in this hour And I was preparing uh, to come. Mildred Brent Bean had sent me a dream from uh, Israel, where she is in Israel. And she dreamed that she and I, I came into a room and she was standing there. And she said, I came straight for her. And she said, in my no-nonsense way, I said, you have an eyelash here in your eye. And it's, obstru- it's distracting you in your vision and she said I said this needs to go and she said okay yes it does need to go and I removed the eyelash that was obstructing her vision and she said I felt like what the Lord was saying is these things that have divided in the evil eye in uh, the British Isles have made them vulnerable because they're distracted by many things. When there is division, there is every evil work in the midst of them. And so, Lord, we say that whatever the distractions are, that they're going to see what the main thing is. And they're going to look at that, focus on that, and move toward that in the name of Jesus in a new way this year. So, Father, we thank you that as they come together in unity, that they will see Israel for who they are. That, Father, no longer will they will they uh, um, tolerate Islam in their lands, but, Lord, that they will rise up and they will go back to the first love, that first love of, of, of Israel. And so, Father, we thank you that you give them eyes to see. Take that distraction off of them where they can't see who and what Israel is. And that, Lord, as they do that, that they will come into a to a, a realm of knowledge that they have not known before. And that, Father, we say, that, that I say that as as... I have lineage in all four nations. And so, Father, I say that the, that they will open their eyes and they will see and they'll return to the first love of Israel to whom you have chosen. And in that choosing, that they will step into a, a fresh place of... of, of um, It's like knowledge and understanding and wisdom to know how to stand again in that place as warriors and as a voice for the nations. 
What I heard in that, Raymond, was that uh, these nations are a sharp, threshing instrument. And those things that have come against them to dull their vision and their warring spirit, all of those things in this hour are going to be sharpened because your identity is you are a sharp, threshing instrument. And you will begin to thresh, you will begin to harvest, and you will begin to call in all those resources that have been hidden in the past. So, Lord, we call the full expression of the fivefold because in order to evangelize Islam that is within their borders, Lord, then the uh, evangelist has to begin to come forth. And the evangelist can't fully get connected until the apostle and the prophet and the teacher and those signs and wonders and miracles begin to manifest. So, Lord, we call them in that shoulder-to-shoulder configuration that will allow the dancing hand of God to operate all over the British Isles. They have never known that kind of unity, of vision, or war, or purpose before. And we call them to it now in the name of Jesus. Lord, make us a house. Make us a house of prayer. anointing that that just came in, started coming in a few minutes ago, and we just need to receive it. It is, it's like a cloak. It's like a, 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 the best way I can describe it is butter. It's like, it's like the dew of Hermon, the oil of, of the, the anointing oil is flowing down over us and it's here for us to receive and I just couldn't not come up and say we need to receive this and you on the web you need to receive this it's like he's doing something he said in this uh, sixth day of counting the omer that I'm here for you I see you and I'm anointing you in a new way I'm cloaking you in a new way I'm covering you to begin to move against the enemy in a new way this is a slippery slidey anointing that's coming in that's going to give us the 
ability to, to go in and out of the spirit realm and to begin to do that which the Lord instructs us to do. And we say, we receive it, Lord. We receive it, Lord. We ask you to pour on us, pour over us, pour over us individually and corporately and begin to download that cloaking, that that ability to move in, to move out, to move in. Lord, we are not here for any reason but for your kingdom and your kingdom purposes. And I just feel it coming down. I feel it coming in. I feel it just surrounding this sanctuary. And we say, Lord, how can we thank you? How can we thank you? We just give you praise. Just give you praise, Lord, as we receive. Just receive. Just receive. 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 Receive it. Receive it. It's it's for the season. It's for the season. Whoa. Receive it. The Lord says we're going to slide from one watch to the next. We're going to be so moving in the spirit. We're going to slide out of one watch and into the next one. Make me a house. Make me a house of prayer. Fire on my altar, never go out. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire on my altar. The Lord never says that we have been asking Him that. We've been asking of Him that the fire on our altar would not go out. And so we're going to hold to this anointing and we're going to move in through our day and our night and we'll come together in the morning at 9 a.m. for our Saturday watch. And we're going to carry this anointing so that we're sliding out of one watch and into the other. We appreciate everybody that has joined us here on site. We thank you for all of those that are joining us on the web. And we say, keep the anointing and let that anointing release to you so that the fire stays burning till in the morning and we look forward to seeing you then in the name of Jesus.